Okay, uh, good evening, gentlemen. The exercise which we're going to do comes under GTO. In our session, we're basically focusing on uh, GD1, GD2, and lecture it. GD1, I'll give you two topic, topic one and topic two. And I'll give you a choice to choose any one of the topic after discussing among yourself. In GD2, you won't be having any choice. You have to discuss on the topic, whatever the topic I give you. Right? And then we'll go for the lecture. In lecture, you will put one card. There's some four topics will be there, random. And you have to start preparing for, for the next three minutes. Then after, when you're done with your uh, preparation, you have to come in the meeting and you have to give the lecture on the particular topic for three minutes continuously, not non-stop. Okay, once I show my thumb here, means you have left with only 30 seconds. Okay. Then uh, when I show, raise my hand, means you have to stop immediately. So have a, you know, Watch on uh, the screen. Okay, all clear now? Okay, so. okay, gentlemen. So the topic one is, India has formally assumed the presidency of G20 on December 1, 2022 and withhold the presidency till 30th November 2023. Which of the priorities framed by India will be achieved maximum in, the, in this one year period? Lead one, talking terror funds, Lead two, green development, climate, finance, and life. Lead three, accelerating the progress to SDGs. Lead four, technological transformation and digital infrastructure. Chidesh, what is SDGs? Full form? The sustainable Development Goals, sir. Even good. Sustainable Development Goals. Okay, good. You guys know, na? SDGs? Okay. Yes, now, topic two. Yes. There has been a significant rise in production and sales of electric vehicles in recent years. What is the major challenges for this transformation? Lead A, high initial cost. Lead 2, limited charging infrastructure. Lead 3, battery technology and supply chain. So gentlemen, you'll be having uh, one minute. Discuss among yourself and do let me know on what topic you would like to have a discussion. Okay, please start. Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, I think second, 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 gentlemen, second topic is I think the G20 topic. submission is uh, good for Go on. I, I, th I think we should go with second one because it kind of oh, yes, we, we, have have we have a good yes, yes, we can go with second topic. Yeah, no one have... the board of the very Everyone topic agrees on second no, one. Gentlemen, I believe we can go with the second one, second topic for a discuss okay, for yeah. the discussion. Okay, uh, let's let's so let me repeat the topic. There have been there has been a significant rise in production and sales of electric vehicles in recent years. What is the major challenges for this transformation? Lead A, high initial cost. Lead 2, limited charging infrastructure. Lead 3, battery technology and supply chain. Please start a discussion. So, okay, gentlemen, as we see that there is a drastic change in an environment of electric vehicle as we are moving from uh, patrolling uh, petrol like cars to the EV cars that we used in our today's world. But due to some uh, Due to some problems that is of uh, electric, uh, that is of batteries that that we used in our in our cars is much costly. And recently we have found our lithium ion reserves in our country that must be much more useful for us. And as we know that China is uh, China is having a uh, bigger market for EVs and all companies and all and all, from all over the world have been uh, used China for their manufacturing of uh, car, uh, electric vehicles, phone, so that we can move further, we can have to uh, have our own uh, electric vehicle manufacturing industries so that we can uh, move further in our, further, uh, further in this uh, as we know, the major factoring, factor affecting our, uh, our electric vehicles is currently the charging stations. As we know that we have the large petroleum and uh, diesel petrol stations near us, but the similar does not go with the charging stations. And I think people are facing a little bit lack due to that reason. They are not uh, ready to buy electric vehicles. So I think it can be considered as a major lead. Yeah, I would like to partially I agree with you. Point. Yeah, I, I would like to partially agree, but I believe that uh, for, uh, the, 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 the need the for the need for, the need for charging stations will come only after there there are a sufficient amount of electrical vehicles available on the road. 
that thing that that is going to push the governments yeah. and organizations more to but in order to make certain questions because the at the current current scenario we see there are vehicles due to which there are more fueling stations service not uh, I, 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 uh, yes yes yes, yes, yes i agree with you india india has currently 718 districts and for each district uh, there are now 770000 petrol bikes are as compared to the charging station it has only 3000 charging station also let's compare that uh, salma salma uh, let kapil come to the point salma let yeah, salma please let kapil come yes yes uh, i want to say that i want to, i want to add point to the service that Uh, if we talk about the uh, kilometer uh, per kilometer rate of charging and per kilometer rate of fuel, it is more than uh, if if a car is a full uh, if a full tank car is uh, is moving at a speed, so it will continue it will cover around six hundred kilometers. But if a uh, chargeable uh, if if a EV vehicle is moving, it it will only cover one twenty kilometers. So what will happen if uh, after one twenty kilometers we don't have any charging station for that? And uh, as you take an example of India, India has seven hundred eighteen districts. For which they have seventy thousand around seventy thousand petrol pumps, so it is quite viable. But as you compare to the charging station, the charging station uh, it is only three thousand three hundred, and also it is not viable because uh, we need more and more electricity. And we know that India is. Uh, yes, yes, Kapil, uh, I, I would like to. I, with I with like respect to, to with respect to what thing. Kapil said, he is pointing out the pointing out the uh, issue with respect to chargings. I believe I would like to go back to Salman's point. Wherein we have found uh, tons of lithium, uh, li- lithium ores, lithium mines in Jammu. I think uh, only finding out lithium mines is isn't sufficient enough. I believe we need to mo- build an infrastructure around it so that we can manufacture more lithium ion batteries that will be used in the production of EVs. Also, another factor that I would like to point out is that China is currently the most efficient and the largest producer of uh, this lithium ion batteries, but it doesn't have the most amount of abundant resources or lithium. it is it is uh, it, it is the countries in south america chile bolivia those countries so i think the, the infrastructure is more important here than the resources i think the resources are just i like, like to add, 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 add some, some point that, 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 that uh, sub optimal battery technology is another okay. problem okay so that, 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 that thing is that nowadays which type of evs are available the range is limited so they are likely to 200 to 300 kilometers in a single charges so i think uh, we can develop the battery technology so they can go uh, at least uh, 500 to 600 kilometer in a single charge because uh, no one want to charge their uh, vehicle for one two hours and uh, and also there is a problem that the thing is the battery is taking so long uh, time take so long time to charge fully so the development of the technology that can uh, make that the fast charging technology that uh, then uh, people will should uh, think about that and they opt for the ev vehicles that is also we can so gentlemen i have to say one thing like ev actually electronic equal to the vehicle charge it okay so to charge that we had more and more uh, like of that we have a petrol car we had uh, up to a kilometer 5 or 10 we had a uh, petrol pump but in case of ev there is a lack of uh, charging points so firstly we have to uh, we have to increase our infrastructure and for that we have to increase our technology we had a lack of technology due to which uh, we are not impl- no, we are not successfully impl- implementing evs into our country we had a la- we had Uh, a little bit of lag in that as that we if we buy a suzuki suzuki maruti suzuki swift car it 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 cost around uh, around 7 lakh but if we try to buy a good kind of car like tesla it cost 60 lakh uh, so there must be a there must be a costly thing so for that we have to cut we have to firstly cut that cost so that we can uh, we can we can achieve that And we can uh, use that to our country. Remark, remark. Adding a point, to add one more thing that Salman already mentioned that we don't have the enough charging station. Like uh, I also want to I want to mention that China, uh, which has one point eight million electric charging station. Uh, but the but thing is that we, we only to, have 900 to, uh, 800 uh, charging station the thing is that if uh, if 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 we start to buying the e vehicles the automatically the charging station will uh, grow up 
ना इट इज अंज रिएक्शन चार्जिंग स्टेशन दे आर चार्जिंग देअर बाइक्स एंड ऑल फ्रॉम दर होम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल अलॉन्ग they are facing problems let it be electric cars like currently tata has launched uh, a harrier electric but its range is only 200 km which is not that far using a car a, a minimum distance uh, traveled is at least 500 km to be a safer safer side so i think the charging station play plays a major role and it, as government start investing in charging stations the people will automatically start buying electric vehicles i think but but yes. the question but the question is i want uh, i want add to add one point that, 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 that electric vehicles uh, from fuel, fossil fuel to electric vehicles the question is where do we get electricity because uh, we generating india has six which is petrol populated petrol is generating electricity out of 10 so those that are the same i think i like to add one more thing that we we india is a country lie in the tropic of cancer so we have a majority abundance of sunlight so we can produce this electricity using solar panels uh, yes, just uh, using the petrol pumps they are we are yeah, diverting yeah, for the generating solar power to electric power so we don't need uh, much uh, we don't need uh, mana but there is but mana there but the cost of that uh, electrification is too high na If you think that let's, let's, can, let's be on the leads, we are we are deviating from our leads. Let's, let's be on leads. above the petrol pump station, but it must be costly. So we cannot. Yeah, uh, but to, no, uh, uh, the uh, the charge will not uh, be so much cost because we already have our petrol pumps. Change. Okay. so we so just general. modify the petrol pumps we can use the petrol pump roofs for the solar panels we just install the solar panels that ca- yeah, can provide that, that, the that electric uh, yeah. infrastructure so, so that, i think so the, the in, in this in this scenario in this way if we in, in this way we in, uh, we develop our infrastructure so it doesn't take uh, so much money as we expected and uh, we can uh, catch up the electric vehicle market uh, in like us and china also Okay, we had uh, all one great that was not it. They are out of ten cities, that out of ten cities, out of ten cities currently, there must be a six cities uh, in India which is more populated. So, as we yeah. all discuss about the disadvantage, let's move to the advantages of EV. That uh, out of ten cities uh, in uh, in according to World Economic Forum list, there are six cities which is which is from India and they are more populated. so in in case of popul in case of pollution uh, we can say that ev is also good so let's discuss about ev that ev is much more good in a beneficial I think, way I think, uh, salman i think we need to i think we should uh, be on our topic rather than about the major challenges yeah, that I, EVs, uh, uh, gentlemen uh, gentlemen uh, i would like to bring the bring the groups groups attention towards another uh, another aspect as to how we can promote indians to buy more evs how we can create that mindset So, I believe sorry, service, uh, I believe uh, sorry, 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 sorry to interrupt yeah. you, sir. Please, uh, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. Uh, let us just stick to the leads. Uh, yeah. Not uh, discuss about the EVs. No, I was so I was talking about the leads. I think one of the yeah one of the one of the one of the factors I believe is yeah one of the factors I believe. Service, we can we can intercept the lead. We can intercept your point with the lead number one. That is high initial cost. So we can reduce the initial cost. I was about to complete that. Yeah. So in order to, in order to reduce those costs, manufactured by manufactured by yeah, in order to reduce those costs, imposing 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 hundred percent tax. So if Indian government reduces that kind of tax and, yeah, yeah, second complete this point. Yeah, yeah, please. I was about to mention the similar points which Manav just said. 
ki we need to there there should be a motive in order to buy uh, which should promote the buying of electric vehicles it could be the the it could be the uh, uh, the incentives that are provided by the government to to the electric vehicles it could also be the uh, benef- uh, it could also be a tax benefits that that they, that they can uh, avail and also uh, also the also when it comes to charging stations by when we are about build sufficient charging stations i believe we can incentivize the uh, char- ja- fee that is being charged on charging yes. stations yes, as well yes sir i agree with you like uh, there is already uh, a thing going on yeah yeah, 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 yeah i agree with you only there is already a thing going on in the next 9 million tons of lithium from kashmir Uh, india could boost uh, his uh, development yeah, yeah, or, or, but or convert it we need to convert it we need research and development right yes, it so, can uh, right. it, it yeah. will develop by atmanirbhar bharat as as it yeah, as it is found, as it was found in jammu and kashmir it can be used by uh, the policy of atmanirbhar so, bharat it can gentlemen our survey said uh, there is a the already the uh, like uh, uh, it is called same scheme it is called same scheme or it is already implemented by india which is a So this is a very good discussion. We have uh, things to learn from each other about the technology and the knowledge which you got from the topic which I, which you guys have chosen. Okay. So now I think uh, we can move towards topic two. All good. We can. topic of g2s india has formally assumed the presidency of g20 on december 1 2022 and will hold the presidency till 30th november 2023 which of the priorities framed by india will be achieved maximum in the one year in this one year period lead a choking tariff funds lead to green development climate finance and life lead three accelerating projects to sdgs lead four technological transformation digital infrastructure please start your discussion so gentlemen we are we are the india uh, uh, in- india got the presidency of g20 <laughs> development working group that is and uh, india got uh, the chance for presidency the india will host the meeting over 200 uh, meetings over 50 uh, cities and uh, in this uh, meeting the theme of the uh, meeting is the vasudeva kutumbakam that is mean one future one family one earth one life so in the in this dramatic uh, in this dramatic meeting in uh, the way india uh, going to presidency that uh, the uh, green development and climate and, and finance and life is the main priority of uh, india's as we uh, as we know from the uh, theme so the opportunity come to lead uh, the g20 uh, summit and uh, after the covid 19 a pandemic so india have uh, so vast uh, so di- uh, india has uh, so dynamic uh, views over that so i think the uh, cl- uh, india will discuss the climate change society sector etc so, so Manam, and uh, also Manam, the, the technological the transformation yeah yeah uh, that's so right. i would uh, yeah i think yeah. 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 the digital infrastructure of india which was yes, discussed in g20 i think so talking about yeah, uh, talking about the leads i think one of the leads that were that was given uh, in the topics was uh, about choking the terror funds uh, i believe a great step that was done during when uh, the very great step which was done after we assumed the presidency was hosting the meetings in kashmir i believe that is one of the big steps that uh, the government has uh, done in order to divert the world's attention towards how uh, how the decision of revoking, revoking article 370 has impacted the country and that kashmir has been uh, has been open to business and for, and is a safer place and and it can be and though secured it is still open for business and can be uh, and is and is also uh, free from all of the terror not free but uh, but is being controlled and is being monitored with all of the terror activities that is, that ha- that is that it has a history associated with so, so i think I mean, uh, in, in, uh... रिवोल्यूशन 
So gentlemen, yeah, I also, think we can also, go with, with like, respect uh, to this, uh, Subhadeep, uh, SDGs because yes, the, the process of SDGs is already in the process uh, and the target of SDGs in 2030. So India is already a good ranking in the SDGs of the United Nations. So that lead will be appropriate because at the end of the 2023, the uh, achievements of the SDGs will be good in the, in the perspective of India. I think we can go with the lead because that would reach the maximum achievement uh, in the number. So the SDGs will be achieved maximum. Okay. Yeah, I, pass yeah. I, I just want to bring uh, everyone's attention towards one major lead that is Green, green Revolution. So as we know that uh, G20 is an organization which looks after all countries' development. And I think terrorism okay. is is main concern of India and some countries. But green, the green revolution or the environment climate, climate change, change is the major climate factor change. that is problem of every, all the countries. So I think yes, yes, India yes. must focus on developing, uh, solving every country's problem and must do major development in that. Yes, inclusive. It is an inclusive growth uh, initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But India is also yes, working over with the period of one year. I want to like uh, one more point to yes, Ajay. Yes, Ajay. I already mentioned and I already mentioned earlier that green development and climate finance and life is uh, India's main focus. So as we know, the understanding that the issue of climate change like global warming uh, cuts across the industry, society yeah. sector, Manav, Manav, India offers Manav, the world Manav, life. Okay. Technological so, yes. transformation and digital yes. 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 also yes. a major concern of India because of the uh, this uh, Atmanivar Bharat. So I think they uh, we can see more technological uh, transformation and digital infrastructures the more uh, uh, than the green development because it is easier to achieve the, than the green development climate finance because India is focusing on self reliance so like in uh, in defense sectors in financial sectors hospitals we have seen that after COVID they have in increased the monitoring on it uh, which is called as uh, this um, medical security or uh, yeah, yes, adding to couple of that. G20 started in 1919 and from that onwards, after 2008, it is presided by every uh, every one year and now on, it's our turn that uh, for the period of one year, we are from uh, 30, from uh, 1 December to 2022, to, uh, we can preside that to uh, 30 December 2023. So for the period of whole period, we are hosting it, hosting uh, in, hosting in, uh, around 200 parts of our Indian, uh, our Indian states. Okay, so for that we are mostly focusing on you know our infrastructure and also on financial things and more or on the environmental things. And as we all know that we are facing a very huge uh, populated city, populated city where where uh, uh, not only in our country uh, across all the countries as. The G20 countries is a group Sal of 20 Salman, countries. Salman, Salman, uh, uh, Salman, Salman, to you. Yes. Actually, uh, I, I need to uh, differ from your opinion. Uh, presiding the G20 is not uh, about uh, developing India. It's about the uh, helping the other 20 countries for... Yes, I am coming to that point, Chitesh. I am coming to that point that G20 countries are covering a two-third of the population, which affects yes. not, not only that 20 countries, but... Yeah, so so that, that, that that is true uh, that it converts to two and half third, but uh, uh, more frequently I want to talk about the security of India, which can be achieved through technical transformation and digital infrastructure because it is uh, it is like we need more modern equipments and cutting edge technology to have advancement in our uh, like we talk about navy. So we have uh, rightly we have uh, two air uh, two aircraft carriers and two nuclear submarines, but we need three of them. So for that, right, uh, right, right, exactly so, right. So, 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 like so, so Kapil, point to it. So Kapil, like, uh, Kapil, it exactly. Is not, it is yeah. not about, yeah. uh, also, uh, when we when we talk about also. when we talk about the globalize, uh, I mean talk talking about the world's issues. World's issue being uh, a greener future and a green revolution. I believe a count uh, choking the terror funds is also a big big important issue for us. Not uh, as India, but not only we, because India has its presidency. Money, yeah, Global because also adding more points to the bill, which was previously all, told though, that though it is the uh, digital, digital uh, twin initiative, which India is developing as well as the member nations can develop, so India could pilot them, no? Yes, and that, yeah. right, we have seen that India is uh, also ex exporting uh, the defense. Okay, gentlemen, I would like to add one more thing. We all uh, 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 the, uh, the new working group on the disaster risk reduction will be established under Indian presidency this time to encourage the collective work by G20, undertake multiple dis uh, disciplinary like uh, research, exchange of technology, the risk reduction, 
that kind of thing it is uh, first time in doing and india specially invited the, the bangladesh egypt uh, netherlands uh, some others countries spain uae this is also uh, make the uh, india centric india centric approach the india showing showing his soft power to the world that is the main approach india do this is the point i want to add adding more point i think anirudh is trying to add a point from a while uh, so, should we anirudh is trying to add a point from a while let him complete his point and we will listen to his point then everyone of yes. us can discuss yes anirudh yes anirudh tell me as, as a, what i think that the major issue about the uh, climate change so as we already know that india talks that they will reduce the carbon emission by 2030 so we can we can say that it's the one of the major issue and also that india participated or india have the indian solar alliance with the france which also helped to reduce uh, for 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 example the energy this is this is one of the main point that that i think uh, yes uh, i, I adding, want to add a point to add to so i just want to add a point to also like by by 2070 like india gave a statement by 2070 it will be zero carbon emission country so i think looking at our country many of the small countries can inspire to big, uh, to take this step and i think it's a good initiative uh, in the st- way towards the green revolution So, gentlemen, I considering that, that I, I, I would, I would, I, I would, I would say that the theme of the security countries is that is that like uh, uh, life for environment. That uh, India is developing yeah. its sustainable development for itself as, as well as the nation. So, I think that right. our country right. also invited all countries. Some countries are neighbor countries from all over the world, which comes in the, in this G20 summit, and also uh, are we are. providing that much information and we are conducting so much of uh, so much of meetings in which we discuss about our global issues which are facing by our neighboring countries and g20 countries which must be uh, which must be uh, coming to be less in coming years okay and for that uh, our our pm our prime minister uh, shri nain modi ji also have done some meetings uh, uh, with our neighboring countries to overcome that issues which is like financial issues and also kind of uh, infrastructure issues defense issues and in this meeting we also have discussed uh, about this kind of things and we have seen that india is also exporting uh, this technology like uh, the uh, the stages stages and it is also given the philippines it ships ins uh, ship so that they can uh, have a Uh, export related to defense sector also so it it can be only done if india is self reliant and indigenously building the uh, guns or ships or helicopters like things and uh, to export to the smaller countries uh, which can be used because we know that uh, this g20 it is the uh, it, it has the 20 top most economic uh, countries which which has a good econ- economy and through this india can also have a export from uh, shifting from import country to an export com- country Also, yes, uh, when I we talk about exporting, we we have also seen recently uh, that tapas has been uh, imported, uh, like tapas has been inaugurated in India, which is uh, the the air drone strike uh, similar to that of the that developed in the US. So I think that is also one of the factors uh, than one of the products that can India can share with its neighboring countries and allies, so so as to stop the st- stop terror terrorism activities. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jarna, I think in the green, I, as we know, in the green revolution, the major point it is about the global warming, and I think our countries have majorly discussed on it that how they can take major step to reduce it. Like let it be, uh, as I told you, uh, doing zero carbon emission. They have also told the told to set up like electric vehicles, as we discussed a point. Like electric vehicles are going to play a major role in the future on this, and many of the other infrastructure development which will indirectly lead to the green revolution. And I think the major fa- uh, challenge. right now many of the countries are facing is a green revolution rather than the te- terrorism and other technological de- development and i think uh, this is one of the major need that they can also take inspiration from the kyoto P- protocol or vienna convention and this all uh, they can took the inspiration uh, from I, that i want to slightly add one point that uh, we have uh, the question was we have to uh, india has to achieve this uh, cha- the, the situations in within a one year challenge right so uh, right. if we are talking about exactly. climate change and uh, other as- aspect uh, development we need a mo- much more time than uh, one year but to yes, you are right couple yeah, at least you can take major steps we are doing with technology 
Yes. But then actually, we can take take major steps to improve on it. Ajay, it, it, Ajay, but, just adding to your point, I think we 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 should be in a position to take those steps if we are free from from attack from our neighboring countries. So in that order, if we see, then counter insurgency is is a prime primary issue at hand. If we see from that angle as well. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of being selfish that uh, rather than looking for the overall G20s matters, we are just looking. No, at for uh, for uh, I would so like to add that for every for every country for globally sorry. for implementing your uh, green revolution. You must be in a situation to implement them. You should have people who can contribute to your cause. So yes, uh, without more de- diligence from your neighboring countries and ally, without a threat hanging your uh, hanging your head, ki uh, there is going to be some influence from others uh, when it comes to implementing yeah, our solutions in a proper China manner. Pakistan, right? Yeah, we yes. have from China and Pakistan. We are also the- yeah, also not not, not to mention that fine. US also has its uh, has its own problems. Just in, for an example. Fine, fine, fine guys, fine. Okay. So now it's 20 to 57. Ladies and gentlemen, the exercise which we're going to do comes under GTO, and now we are going to do uh, you know exercise which is called lecturative. Okay. So let me just assign you the order, Manam, Chitesh, Subhadeep, Salman, Anirudh. Kapil, Prince, and Sarvesh. All clear? Okay. So now, one by one, each and every individual have to give the introduction about themselves. Okay. And when the last person about to give his introduction, I'll send someone in the meeting room where I'll give him one card. There will be four, four topics will be there. You have to select one topic and start preparing on one topic for three minutes. Then. I'll let you in. Then I'll send the next person outside to go through their lecture topics and for the preparation. Right? You have to stand straight in front of your camera and start giving the lecture. Even your introduction should be in the same format. Introduction: You have to tell your name, place you belong, what is your tenth, uh, twelfth, or graduation percentage. And what is the aim of your life? All clear? Name, place, tenth, twelfth, graduation percentage, and aim of your life. All clear, everyone? Okay. So we'll go with the same chronological order. Okay, Mana, please start. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Manav Sharkar. I am from District Not Twenty Four, Pogona, West Bengal. My percentage in Class Ten is eighty-four uh, percent. In Class Twelve, I got eighty percent, and in graduation, I got sixty percent. The aim of my life is to be an officer in Indian Armed Forces. Thank you. A uh, good evening, gentlemen. So my name is uh, Chitesh M. So I come from the Tanjau district, uh, which is in Tamil Nadu. So I secured uh, 89 percentage in my 10th standard and 75 percent in my 12th standard and 66 percent in my graduation. So my my aim is uh, to join the government service. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Shivaji Pradhyar. I am from Bolli district of West Bengal. I got ninety-two point seven percent in ten and eighty-four point eight in twelve. And my I got eight point four two CGPA in my graduation, uh, which becomes a uh, percentage in seventy-six point seven. And uh, my aim in life is to join defense forces as an officer. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Salman, and I am from. And I am from Rooty, uh, which is uh, also called a Bumi. And my age, and uh, my tenth, my and my tenth percentage is eight point two GPA, and my twelfth percentage is eighty percent. And in question, I score eighty five percent. So my aim is to join Indian Armed Forces and serve my country. Thank you, gentlemen. My name is Anirudh Kumar Dilotra, and I belong to District Gurdaspur, Punjab. In 10th standard, I got 91.38 percent. In 12th standard, 
I got 92.88 percent, and in my graduation, I got 74 percent. The aim of my life is to join the armed forces as an officer. Thank you. Good evening, all. I'm Sarvesh Khandagre. I'm from Mumbai. I'm age 24, uh, 24 yes. years old. I have this. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are the last one, right? Uh. So my, have you done with their introduction? Kapil? So my, uh, it was my journey. Don't jump in between. Kapil, Prince, then you are absolute. Okay, start. Uh, sorry, sorry, Kapil. Sorry, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Kapil Kumar Kapoor. I belong to Great Billing, Imashri Pradesh. I got, uh, uh, in 10th class, I got 84, 8.4 CGPA. In 12th class, I got 67.20%. And graduation, I got 59.69 percent. My aim is to become an officer in Coast Guard. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Prince Kumar. I belong from Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. My uh, my uh, tenth class marks is 85.5 percent. I got 73.4 percent in class 12. My graduation percentage is. 66.7% and my aim is to join Indian Armed Force and serve the country. Thank you. Uh, good evening all. I am Sarvesh Khandagre, uh, age 24 years old. I am from Mumbai. Uh, I have received 70% uh, in 10th and 12th standard and I have received gra in graduation average 64.43%. And uh, my aim in life is to become an Indian, uh, uh, an officer in, in the Indian Armed Forces and serve my country. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. My lecture topic is India-US relationship. So as we all know, since independence in 1970, in 1947, uh, India, is, uh, uh, India is a neutral country. He, India not uh, take part in NATO or in USSR. Uh, but uh, we all know that uh, the, this time UPA government is uh, tilted towards the uh, uh, USSR government. So that times uh, uh, India-US relation is not that much of strong, uh, which we have seen in the last few decades. Uh, last few decades. Uh, so in last few decades, India and US relationship they get uh, stronger. Uh, India and US uh, joined in Quad. U.S. also nominate India for the permanent membership of uh, uh, U.S. Uh, Security Council. And also the upcoming development between EU, EU, U.S. and India is uh, uh, Micron technology. And uh, U.S. and India also uh, uh, start discussion on the uh, sustainable uh, clean energy, uh, energy program, uh, which is also are noticeable uh, and also are noticeable. Uh, India and uh, US also take part in some uh, joint exercise to counter uh, uh, Chinese uh, Navy in a specific uh, ocean. Mm. Uh, specific ocean. Uh, uh, as we uh, know that uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the first time Indian Prime Minister who attended the US Congress uh, for uh, twice and addressing the US Congress. That is, uh, and uh, how the Modi campaign is also a uh, uh, play effective role. Uh, so in this way, uh, our present government is uh, 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 decided to make the bond with USA. Uh, so we are successful on it. And USA also know that India is becoming the uh, world most populous country in the world. So it is uh, for their interest also, because India is going to be the uh, biggest market in the world. So, as my opinion, uh, India-US relationship must be good in uh, must be good for our upcoming future and the world also. Thank you. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Also, my my topic for the lecture is uh, India-Bangladesh relations. So uh, Bangladesh is our neighboring country, which is situated near the northeast region of our Indian mainland. Uh, so which is uh, closely uh, situated near the West Bengal, uh, state of West Bengal. 
so our relation with bangladesh bangladesh uh, became very strong uh, when we uh, we played a major role in, in their independence uh, by 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 bifurcating bifurcating them from the pakistan in the year 1976 so uh, uh, when when the pakistan uh, they divided from india uh, once after we get independence uh, bangladesh is a country which was attached to the pakistan um, uh, as as separate land uh, uh, till the 1976 so uh, india may have played a major role in that and the, and uh, bangladesh being a jute, uh, biggest uh, producer of jute uh, is uh, is being uh, economically uh, stronger uh, only uh, of the production of the jute so uh, india uh, who, who always uh, maintains a cordial relationship with bangladesh uh, and bangladesh is the only country which are not which is a non influence of the china, china because china which are uh, influencing our other neighboring countries like sri lanka pakistan and and even uh, uh, in the the myanmar so bangladesh it is very important for india to maintain a cordial relationship with bangladesh because uh, it is a strategic position uh, which may uh, fund terrorism and and can easily enter india for uh, to uh, make a very uh, incidence so uh, till now india bangladesh relations are uh, uh, very good uh, witnessing that uh, india have uh, invited the bangladesh uh, in the, uh, the g20 summit of 2023 where india is presiding over so hope this will be follow for the future thank you thank you madam the topic the lecture that was provided to me is uh, lgbtq uh, recently it was in news uh, of uh, as as it is a current news in 1681 britishers uh, declared that it is against the nature that homosexuality And in uh, 16, in 1681, in 2014, in 2018, and uh, in 2019, both uh, in 2019, uh, Supreme Court criminalized uh, this uh, LGBTQ, and in 2019, uh, it was decriminalized. And the uh, the uh, the basis on which the LGBTQ uh, can be uh, told or can be uh, discussed is like. Uh, first of all, uh, social discrimination. The people uh, we we have to uh, you know we have to uh, understand the every people as it has its own uniqueness. So uh, when if when the if people of homosexuality is working in the office or in home, so we have to understand that um, uh, that he has its uniqueness. So we we can't discriminate him uh, in in this process. And uh, first and uh, second is lack of representation. Uh, in in uh, democracy of india like mm, there are uh, many things like uh, politicians media they are not talking about uh, this thing in western culture it is adopted but in india uh, in india it is it is against the culture so uh, media is not uh, representing this ideas and uh, third topic is uh, the uh, mental breakdown mental breakdown of uh, Uh, this uh, people like uh, when when the people came to know about these things they uh, they uh, treated us like uh, that that the people are not from this world so uh, they uh, bully and uh, they uh, bully the people and uh, give and uh, giving uh, and telling them uh, abusing and giving them abusing abusing languages etc so we have to come to the point that Uh, as as every people has has its own uniqueness, so we have to support them as usual. Uh, it is basically seen in the rural areas that when they about came to know about these ideas, this thing, they treated the child as like they are not. Uh, that they have done a. Um, yeah, they have done a bad work or something. So uh, we we have to uh, we have to. Uh, Tell the child, or we have we have to tell the child like uh, that, or or to make them understand that uh, it is uh, what what is good or what is bad, etc. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. My next topic is five G network and technology. So as we all know that India in India five G is a fifth generation uh, a fifth generation. of 5g network which gives uh, which gives higher speed and low latency in which uh, as 5g is as far as with the use of 5 generation and 5th generation of internet we can we can 
we can help fully help the we can use that in many sectors in health sector education sector and agriculture sector so first let's discuss uh, the use of 5g in uh, education sector with the use of 5g we can uh, we can we can fastly interact with our teachers students and teachers interact with each other with no time in, in and in and also uh, and also the second use of 5g is in gaming as the as a gaming culture in uh, as the gaming culture in India is also increasing, all, all, and also all over in the world, as as now gamers use 5G technology to interact with their fans, and also the third use of uh, the third use of 5G technology is that we can use 5G technology in health sector also, as as in no time the pay, the doctor can the, the the doctor can enter in their patient in no time, and also the tele the telemedicine uh, the, the, the telemedicine in is also uh, or is also available as as in no time now a days from now in nowadays a one person and order one order any medicine from one point of uh, country to the other point and also 5G technology also help in agriculture as 5G technology shows shows a tremendous increase in, in with the help of uh, 5G tech 5G networks that 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 been used by the uh, that been used by the farmer for the for the increase of for the increase of soil fertility and also climate changes and also this this is possible just because 5G is uh, growing in India and all over the country but uh, in case of in case of our country 5G networks are also useful uh, but uh, due to some lack of technology we are not uh, increasing and we are not uh, we are not growing at that much on speed as compared to Japan because now time in Japan is uh, Japan is test, testing a seventh generation of uh, internet uh, internet networks, and we are currently on on the go for the 5G network. So, so uh, our government and telecommunication companies have to work work more harder and also smartly to uh, to 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 give this 5G technology to every uh, to every hand in our country. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Today's my topic is yoga. Yoga, as we know that in, in today's world, the stress is increasing day by day. So, for reducing it, people are doing yoga. It's because of India that yoga is prevalent all over the world, like our neighboring countries like China and all other other countries. It's because of India. In many schools, we saw that in the assemblies, they start doing yoga before. Uh, before going to the classes to make the body fit and we can also say that by doing yoga it helps our, our mind to be calm and there are many asana like vajrasana shirs asana which makes our body flexible so we can say that uh, yoga has many advantages which plays a very important role in our daily life which helps us to increase the flexibility of our body as well as to go work uh, in a fit manner. So in the conclusion, I just want to say, uh, say that yoga plays a very important role and uh, we should, uh, we should uh, do yoga daily. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. The topic of our lecture is Chinese uh, goods impact on India. As we know, uh, we, we know that India and China got independence in the same decade, that is 1945 for China and 1947 for India. But we have seen that China through its Great Leap policy has increased its manufacturing hubs uh, and uh, has a good impact on the world. Uh, on the world. Every 10 out of nine uh, items are made in China from somewhere they are linked to China. China has a good uh, capacity of semiconductors, toys we see, uh, any electrical appliances, phones, etc. are made in China and which has flooded in uh, many parts of the world. So talking about the India, India has, uh, in, the, every part in India, the make is higher uh, than the what, what it costs from China. Like a 10 rupees toy in, uh, which is made in China is more accessible to the people than a 50 rupees toy in, made in India. Uh, even though after the India has, India has started, uh, uh, started to ban Chinese uh, items, Still, we have uh, uh, still we had millions of dollars of trades between India and China because we need semiconductors, we need other uh, natural, we need other resources 
from China. Uh, but I think India should also be using its uh, allies and uh, and also uh, start finding the neighbors which will help India to get uh, the items and self self reliance self reliance and indigenous technology would build India a good uh, a good and in economic forms. Like for example. If India, uh, like you know that India G20 presidency is under India till 2023, and uh, through this India can make a great impact, a great impact on uh, uh, countering China. Also in the SCO, that is the Shanghai Cooperation, India can also lead, uh, lead uh, to balance the situation between India's competitiveness with China and counterism uh, with China because it share a long border, and we have and we have seen that it has dispute also. So the banning those items because. We know that the, the top number one manufacturing is, uh, is the China and the top number one country which uh, consume it is India. So if we stop consuming those goods, we can uh, handle, we can, uh, coming the decades, we can handle the balance between India and China. So this is my turn. Good evening, gentlemen. Today's my lecture topic is love, love marriage versus arranged marriage. So in India, like uh, there are two types of uh, marriage, love marriage and arranged marriage. Love In love marriage, like uh, the, uh, the person is having the choice, independent choice to uh, select their uh, partner. And in arranged marriage, there are like several resources through which uh, the person is getting married to the other person according to uh, according to the survey like uh, arranged marriage is more successful than love marriage because uh, in arranged marriage people are not uh, uh, having that much uh, uh, like pre expectations from their partner which uh, leads to better improvement in their personal life and also uh, love marriage uh, and there are many benefits of love marriage also like uh, in love marriage uh, people are uh, uh, pre uh, people know each other from uh, past and uh, they are used to like uh, getting each other opinions and uh, expressions they like faces uh, and also they uh, know how to deal or handle the situation in the in any problem so uh, oh, and uh, uh, also uh, love marriage uh, gives uh, uh, priority uh, uh, also love in love marriage uh, like uh, intercaste system is uh, like uh, oh, we are overcoming intercaste system so for better relationship uh, like uh, we can go for uh, love marriage if uh, we can thank you good evening gentlemen the topic for today is naxalism uh, uh, first let us uh, first let us understand why is it important to uh, uh, why it is important to understand about naxalism Friends, when we when we speak about the Indian armed forces, they are the ones responsible for protecting us from these threats that are outside outside and are attacking us from the outside. But what about the threat? But what about the times when their backs are toward, towards their country? The their backs should be, I think, uh, I believe, it should be taken care of as the as terrorism uh, within the country is is more uh, is more is, is growing day by day. But uh, but. But to understand why, what, uh, what promotes this naxalism, what is the root cause of this naxalism? I believe we have to go to the, uh, to the very, uh, very bottom, where, uh, where, where, where the seed of the uh, of naxal naxalites uh, uh, have been rooted in. I believe majority of the reasons that causes causes this is because, uh, because of, uh, because of their uh, their demands being ignored, or the or the influence of a mindset, where uh, influence of a mindset. Where 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 their demands can only be heard, but if they if they take weapons in their own hands and laws in their own hands, so uh, to avoid to avoid such uh, such situations, I believe the the I believe uh, the the way moving forward uh, is to impl implement laws 
and to uh, and to conduct elections in such areas there are over multiple uh, multiple locations we have uh, we have seen in in areas uh, areas of chatisgarh jharkhand and also areas of maharashtra like gadchiroli where multiple uh, where over multiple locations attacks have been done on uh, on on people from administration from people from police and crp uh, and crp of jamaz as well when they are uh, when they are proceeding towards taking control of the situations to uh, to avoid fraud if we have also seen that many small children also are also getting influenced by due to in in these in this common uh, in this in this nexalism uh, to to uh, to avoid their their influence on nexalism i believe that the more uh, more uh, advanced and, uh, and doable step is to keep them distracted from from uh, from this we can do this by promoting the development in those areas by, by promoting development i uh, i intend to focus more on the education as well as more uh, more of the employment status developing more employment status in that area so that the so that they have things to do uh, and uh, rather than going to naxalism their their parents and they themselves want to uh, want to take up a career that is that does not have a threat to their life and also uh, and uh, and, will, and this will also help reduce uh, reduce threats in uh, in that area as well which also indirectly supports uh, which also indirectly helps the our uh, armed forces focusing more on the threats that are coming outside from the wall uh, outside uh, outside uh, over the border uh, from our neighboring country then uh, then fe uh, then fearing about what happening in within the country also we can uh, we can develop uh, we can i be, i also understand that majority of our armed forces uh, uh, in the, in cap uh, in capf as well are uh, are involved in controlling these uh, these these measures but also uh, uh, government should 